Welcome to this lesson on linear systems application problems. All right, so let's go over the steps for solving these. First, you want to define the two variables. So your x and your y. Then you want to write the two equations for your system. Remember, these are systems, so they're going to have two or more. All of these just have two. And then you will solve the system using one of the three methods we have learned, which are graphing, substitution, or elimination. And then you answer the questions. And there may be more than one, and you need to make sure that you read carefully. All right, so number one, a sub sandwich at K's restaurant cost $4 plus 80 cents per topping. The cost of a sub at the corner shop is 550 plus 40 cents per topping. How many toppings need to be added to each sub for the sandwiches to cost the same? Okay, so let's define our two variables. All right, so toppings is obviously going to be one. And since it's 80 cents per topping and 40 cents per topping, that's going to be our slope. And slope is always multiplied by x. So we're going to make toppings x. And then y is going to be our cost, our money, in dollars. So these are going to be in slope intercept form. So for K's restaurant, it's 80 cents per topping, so 0.8 eggs. You can leave off the ending zero if you want, plus a $4 flat fee. And then for the corner shop, it's 40 cents per topping times X, that's our toppings, plus a $5.50 fee. So Y is our total cost. How many toppings need to be added to each sub for the sandwiches to cost the same? So we are looking at when do these equations equal each other? Now a couple things you could do. You could graph these, but the slope for these are a little bit weird. They're not in fraction form like we are used to. So graphing might be a little bit difficult. You can always use a graphing calculator if your teacher allows that. But let's think about this algebraically. So I know that y equals 0.8x plus 4, and it also equals 0.4x plus 5.5. .5. So I'm going to use substitution here, and I'm going to substitute in this expression for y in my first equation. So here's my first equation. I'm going to change that y to what I have boxed in in pink and solve for x. So really what I've done is I've set the two equations equal to each other and this is a form of substitution. Okay, so let's combine like terms. We don't have any like terms on the same side of the equal sign, so I need to move them to the other side. I'm going to move this one first. So that would be 0.4x. I'm isolating x, so let me move this 4. And then divide. So 1.5 divided by 0.4 is 3.75. All right, so we can substitute that back in. 3.75 into, I'm just going to use the first equation. I'm going to use my calculator for this because I have all those decimals. Let's see, 0 0.8 times 3.75 plus 4 is 7. So the solution to this is 
Now, we need to go back and read the question because we may not have answered the question yet. So the question says, how many toppings need to be added to each sub for the sandwiches to cost the same? So this is my X, my toppings, and this is my Y. So 3.75 toppings, well, you can't have 0.75 of a topping, so you can round up about four toppings, or you can say at most three toppings. I'm going to say about four toppings. And when you have about four toppings, the subs will cost $7 each. They'll be the same. All right, number two. At a local grocery store, five apples and six oranges cost $8.68. Seven apples and four oranges cost $8.50. What is the cost of each? So here I have apples and oranges. Those are gonna be my two variables. Actually, let's make apples X because I see that first. All right, so let's write our two equations. So five apples and six oranges equals 8.68. Seven apples and four oranges equals 8.50. All right, so these are both in standard form, so I'm gonna use elimination here. And I'm actually going to multiply both of these equations. So I'm going to multiply the top one by a negative 7. And the bottom one by a negative 5. That's going to make these first two terms cancel. So let's see. That's going to give me negative 35x minus 42y equals negative 60.76. I'm just multiplying every single number by negative 7. And then on the bottom, let's see, we don't need to multiply by negative five. Actually, we need to multiply by positive five, so that's gonna cancel. So positive 35x, five times four, that's 20y. Five times 850, that's 4250. Okay, so these are gonna cancel. Negative 42 plus 20, that's negative 22y. Negative 60.76 plus 42.50. That's negative 18.26. I'm going to divide by negative 22 on both sides. So y equals 0.83. All right, so that's the cost of my oranges. That's y. Let's substitute back in and find the cost of apples. So I'm just going to use that first equation. So 6 times 0.83, and then I'm going to subtract, three point seven. divide by 5 on both sides. So 0.74. All right, so let's write our actual answer here. So apples are 74 cents each. Oranges are 83 cents each. All right, last one. A department store sells a certain brand of shorts. The Bermuda shorts cost $12.50 each, and the athletic shorts cost $15 each. All right, so there's our two variables, Bermuda shorts and athletic shorts. If the store sells 30 pairs of shorts for a total cost of $407.50, how many of each type of shorts did they sell? Okay, so this one is a little bit different. <clears throat> They sold 30 pairs of shorts, but we don't know how many of each type they sold. So let's start there. We know that a certain amount of Bermuda shorts plus a certain amount of athletic shorts is a total of 30 pairs sold. 
And then we also know that Bermuda shorts cost $12.50 each, so $12.50 times X. And athletic shorts are $15 each, 15 times Y. And since that's dealing with the cost, we want that to equal the total cost, which is $407.50. So those are our two equations. Now, these are both in standard form. However, since that first equation is so simple, I'm not going to use elimination. I'm going to use substitution here, and I'm going to solve or isolate x on that first equation. So I'm going to change this to x equals negative y plus 30. I just moved the y over. I subtracted y from both sides. And then I'm going to substitute this in 4x in my second equation. All right, so we have a lot of algebra here, so be careful with your steps. So I'm going to distribute that 1250. So negative 12.5y plus 375 plus 15y equals 407.5. All right, I have like terms. Negative 12.5 plus 15 is 2.5y. Then I'm going to subtract 375 from both sides. I'm going to bring that up here. 407.50 minus 375 is 32.5. And then divide by 2.5. So y is 13. All right, if you need a second to catch up, I will let you because I know that was a lot of algebra. If you need more time, you can pause the video now. Okay, so we have our athletic shorts, which is why we sold 13 of those. From here, it's pretty easy because we know that the total amount sold was 30. And if we sold 13 athletic, then we can just subtract 13 from 30 which gives us the amount of Bermuda short, which is 17. So my final answer here is 17 Bermuda shorts and 13 athletic shorts. All right, you can go ahead and stop the video and complete your practice.